Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello, I'm Jack for LockingLand.com. Today, I'm going to be taking a quick look at Office 2010 Technical Preview, a pre-beta version of software that's released for software developers and technical reviewers. Changes across all Office 2010 applications include 64-bit support, the enhanced ribbon with a new Office button that links to a backstage experience, web applications, and mobile versions of core apps like Outlook, Word, and Excel. The enhanced ribbon UI in Office 2010 has been improved with a minimize button to give yourself more workspace and an improved Office button, which is similar to Paint and WordPad in Windows 7. It links to a backstage experience where you can save, open, or close your document, view recently opened documents, create a new document, print your document, or share it online. New features in Word 2010 include an improved search function. It now opens in a navigation pane that doesn't cover the document you're searching. And when you search for a word, it will highlight it in the document and show up as a sentence in the navigation pane. Other new features in Word 2010 include Paste Preview. When you right click to paste something into the document, if you hover over this icon it will show you a preview of what you're pasting. You then click it to paste it into the document. Other new features in Word 2010 include improved picture editing capabilities, more word art options, more text effects like shadows, reflections, glows and bevels, and an improved document map. One more important feature of Word 2010 is that it allows co-authoring in real time between a group of people. Some new features in Publisher 2010 include the Ribbon UI, which wasn't included in Office 2007. Pages now show up in the navigation pane on the side of the window, instead of tabs at the bottom. And there's now a new ability to fine-tune object placing in the document. New features in PowerPoint 2010 include new transitions and animations, and a video editing capability. Other features in PowerPoint 2010 include Broadcast Slideshow, which allows you to broadcast your presentation online, and other people can see it through their browser. Excel 2010 hasn't got that many new features, but it does have spark lines, which allow you to create graphs in single cells and improved formatting tools. Outlook 2010 also has some new features, including Conversation View, which groups related emails like here. You can also clean up the conversation. By right clicking and clicking clean up conversation, this removes redundant parts of email messages, allowing you to focus on the most important pieces of them. Another new feature of Office 2010 links to the conversation view. It's called Ignore Thread. When you right click conversation view and click Ignore, you can automatically delete all messages that relate to this one and all future responses. Other new features of Outlook 2010 include the Ribbon UI, which wasn't included in Office 2007. With the Ribbon UI is a new feature called Quick Steps. Here you can do quick steps like making a team email, creating a meeting, or a new email. Versions of Office 2010 include Standard, that's aimed at enterprise business, Professional, which is a premium product for home users and small businesses. Professional Plus, aimed at enterprise business. Home and Business, which replaces small business. Home and Student, which is aimed at home users. And an Ultimate Edition. Overall, I think Office 2010 is a good improvement over Office 2007. It's still slightly buggy because it's pre beta release software, but over the next year many more features will be included and the software will become more stable. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.